December 9th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Proverbs chapter 7 from the Old Testament. My child, keep my words and treasure up my commands in your own keeping. Keep my commands so that you may live and obey my instructions as your most prized possession. Bind them on your forearm, write them on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister, and call understanding a close relative, so that they may keep you from the adulterous woman, from the loose woman who flatters you with her words. For at the window of my house, through my window lattice, I looked out, and I saw among the naive, I discerned among the youth, a young man who lacked wisdom. He was passing by the street near her corner, making his way along the road to her house. In the twilight, the evening, in the dark of the night, suddenly a woman came out to meet him. She was dressed like a prostitute and with secret intent. She is loud and rebellious. She does not remain at home. At one time outside, at another in the wide plazas, and by every corner she lies in wait. So she grabbed him and kissed him, and with a bold expression she said to him, I have fresh meat at home. Today I have fulfilled my vows. That is why I came out to meet you, to look for you, and I found you. I have spread my bed with elegant coverings with richly colored fabric from Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let's drink deeply of lovemaking until morning. Let's delight ourselves with sexual intercourse. For my husband is not at home. He has gone on a journey of some distance. He has taken a bag of money with him. He will not return until the end of the month. She persuaded him with persuasive words. With her smooth talk, she compelled him. Suddenly, he went after her like an ox that goes to the slaughter, like stag prancing into a trapper's snare, till an arrow pierces his liver like a bird hurrying into a trap, and he does not know that it will cost him his life. So now, sons, listen to me. And pay attention to the words I speak. Do not let your heart turn aside to her ways. Do not wander into her pathways. For she has brought down many fatally wounded, and all those she has slain are many. Her house is the way to the grave, and going down to the chambers of death. God, now that you have given me a new heart, and I work on the sin areas of my life, I have definitely realized that for almost all of my regular sins, that there's things that trigger them. Uh, it could be situations, uh, it could be places, it could be people, uh, it could be emotions, uh, just or, or a variety of those things. And this Proverbs talks about this, even though in this case it's talking about having uh, sex with a married woman. Uh, I think it applies to a lot of things of being intentionally in a place that could cause you to sin if he wasn't on that street corner he wouldn't have seen her she wouldn't have been able to call out to him and i think about our other sin areas or our idols and are we intentionally putting ourselves in places where it's almost a little bit easier to sin are there certain places we go to on the internet certain people we talk to uh, certain places that we go to and, and do certain things that trigger these types of sin areas. And if we stayed away from those, would it be better? Would we feel stronger in, in being able to stay away from those things? Uh, for me, <laughs> I can only speak for me. For me, God, I know that that works. Um, that if I'm not directly being confronted with those situations, uh, opportunities, uh, that for the most part, I, along with the strength that you give me, am able to say no. Uh, there's still times when I sin. Uh, I am, I am human. <laughs> I am a broken human. Uh, but it seems that if I'm not intentionally putting myself in the path, uh, I seem to do a lot better. God, I just ask that you help everyone who is listening to this video to search their heart what are those areas of their lives? Is it financial? Is it business? Is it relationships? Is, is it sex? Is it drugs? Is it alcohol? Uh, is it pornography? Is it violence? What is it that is causing them to be in these situations that cause them to sin? And then allow them to look at, at the parameters. Are there certain triggers that 
that seem to set them off or seem to help make that path to sin a little bit easier for them. Um, help us identify those areas, God, so that we can remove them or intentionally not go to that particular street corner uh, anymore. Sin is sin is so attractive. I don't know how else to put it. And anything that we can do to keep our ourself out of harm's way, I think, is hugely beneficial. Uh, not saying we have to be locked up in a house because part of this does strengthen us, but there's certain things. Uh, that boy once we get in those situations we're just not able to get ourselves out of uh, no matter what, what we do at that time our willpower is just not strong enough god we also call on your strength during those times that if we are to focus on you focus on your words focus on your um, actual voice in our heart then that is the strength we need to say no to those situations to move on from those situations uh, to not participate in those situations. God, we just ask for that strength today for all of those sin areas that cause us those types of problems. Help us to stay off of that street corner, God. <laughs> in your son's name I pray. Amen.